box, Martin. <laughs> and we're back. I'm gonna think about that the next time I go to eat cereal. I'm just gonna open my box of cereal, like get my ball Surprise. out, and open it, and a fish. the fish is gonna fly out of the box and hit me in the face. And then I'm gonna fall out of my house. Yeah, How you wear the invisible hats, they fuck you up, man. Why not? Look at them. Looking devices. <laughs> the Klingon birds of prey. So, you know, Steve, I don't think we've talked about the background of this area. How cool is that background? I don't care for it. I like the gears motif. I, I really do. But I don't like that weird background. But I'm colorblind, so maybe I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think. Why are you so heavy? So, are you ready for your first appeal? What? Phoenix oh, Fish. Welcome to, at welcome sea. to Federal Fish Court. He's he's Phoenix Fish, attorney at sea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like that was just, just a shitty something. place to position yourself. <laughs> so, Lion, are you ready to stab at someone from Hell's Maw? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should just run on the Dude, fish. He's just not letting you get. Just as a point of warning, this water is extra hydrochloric. I've noticed. Really? Yeah. Oh, so this. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Baphomet came out of the water to taunt you with his giant hippo face. Hey, you know what Lameza should get? The blessing of Temet Nu. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that would actually help here. Although I don't know, it might be magically compelled to attack me. I, I think he should join the Church of Bahamut. I think that would protect him quite well. But that's not Bahamut, that's, 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 that's no. Bahamut. No, that's Bahamut right there. No. No, Bahamut's a later boss he'll fight, don't worry. Oh yeah, that is Bahamut. Yeah. Baphomet, Bahamut. Whoever designed Lamulana did not read their mythology thoroughly. They uh, did. Nope, that thing is actually a dragon, in all seriousness. Yeah. It's a big sea dragon. Yep. That's why it breathes fire, that's why it has wings, that's why it looks like a hippo. <laughs> that, that part wasn't explained, but, um, yeah. Well, look, are you going to argue with it? It's like 80 million times your size, breathes fire, and flies. Yeah, however, the, the, that giant hippo. However, there, there is, there's, I have one key advantage over it. I'm actually a real thing. <laughs> and... I don't have to fight it. I can just, like, you know, turn Lama Lana off. No. Just say But you'll yeah. never win your argument, then. This group makes me want to give up all hope to live. I got invited to a group called Favorite Kick-Ass Song. And the links so far have been Evanescence, Three Days Grace, Bullet for My Valentine, Breaking Benjamin, God Smack, and Yellow Submarine. Hey man, hey, one of those is a really good song. Yeah, but it's not an ass-kicking song. Yes, it is. I hate the Beatles. Yellow Submarine is totally an ass-kicking song. Yeah. It's I a song about a guy from the town where he was born. So? It's not even about him, it's not about demons, it's not like some stupid power metal song that just gets everybody pumped up, it's not Avenged Sevenfold, it's not Symphony X, I don't know, it's I not get even Dragon up Force. Up yeah, I get, I get pretty pumped up when I listen to uh, Yellow Submarine. Yeah. get pretty pumped up when I listen to the Eagles. If I ever build a giant robot, uh, it's gonna play the Yellow Submarine as the theme song. Good idea. Welcome to another session of Good Idea, Bad Idea. Good Idea. Serving tennis balls on the court. Bad Idea. Serving tennis balls for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far your, um, your uh, appeals have been, uh, been pretty ineffectual. I don't think you're gonna get off death row that easily. You murdered that fish, you monster. Yeah, you didn't murder one, bud. That judge just is not gonna hear you out. 
Yeah, no matter how good Judge your Fudge will not hear your appeal because he's too busy being delicious. <laughs> There must be some way to avoid that lion. Yeah, there I is. Wish. There's probably absolutely no way to avoid that. You actually got hit by the fire. Yep. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. I should probably get, like, another life jewel. There's none. Uh, no, he could actually get two right now. I know he can. But he, he will never figure them out. That is a secret. <laughs> That was me yawning. It was a good yawn. But yeah, um, the background in this area, I, I assume it's like supposed to be like coral or something? I don't really see it, if it's supposed to be something in particular. I like the machine motif. And I it's like just it, it's just squiggly lines to me, and I can't see all the colors. So, <laughs> but I like the marble temple thing. I think it contrasts pretty cool with the the machinery that's like hidden in the background. Yeah. So, uh, Lion, I will I will tell you this. And I'm not sure if you've noticed it yet, but um, when you are on the boat fighting the boss, depending on which side of the boat you stand on, uh, it controls how fast the boat moves. Okay. And you know that being caught in the middle of the water is like an instant hit, because there's no fucking way you're avoiding him. Yep. So I'd recommend that when you get closer to an edge, you want to move uh, to the back side of the boat, making it slow down. And then when you come to the... Or when you are towards the middle, or starting to move forward, just try and get across as fast as possible. That way you can avoid your... your no! Uh, out of kits. Oh, hey! <laughs> Saved by the bell. Not really, he still has to fall down here. Get hit by the bats. And a surprise fish. So, I will say that uh, of the bosses, Bahamut was one I fought much later than I probably should have. Mainly because I forgot to put that weight on the pedestal. I thought I had already done so like a hundred times. Like, I already did this! And I didn't. <laughs> um. The boss himself is not very difficult. Um, you could save this boss for much later in the game. <laughs> yeah, you know what, I think I'm gonna do that. You don't have to! No, but I think I'm going to. You can. Mm, now where do I, I think go? you're being a wimp. I think you should deal with this- deal with the, the hippo dragon thing right yeah. now. Okay. Oop. That was the same place. But uh, as far as um, difficulty goes, he is not too hard. He has like basically three attacks. None of them are, are that bad. I will tell you, Josh, that they changed him in the WiiWare version significantly, but not like major. Oh, and don't combat. worry. These stupid vehicle combat bosses, you're getting them out of the way now. Yeah, there's one he ain't getting out of the way now, though. Yeah. I don't my even favorite, know how My to favorite do it. vehicle combat boss, actually. Yes. The minecart was cool, the boat is cool, but this is just. Fuck yeah, everything, that, that man. This is the best. Martin, I'm, I'm gonna type this to you in Skype. It is the best. The best! The best! The best! The best! The best! You get that, Mark? Okay, yeah, that sounds pretty rad. It is really cool. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. But there's he's pretty hard! Was... I, you know what, I didn't even really think he was that hard. Well, there's gimmicks that you can use to, like, beat his ass, like, super easy. Yeah. I keep pressing the wrong button. Stop that. Fine, I will tell you, if you jump when the boat reaches its apex, you can jump over his head. Also, if you if you jump when the boat re reaches its apex, you can fire the shuriken right at his mouth. Convenient, no? But that would require him to, place, to press multiple buttons, possibly on different sides of the controller.
Sí. Also, Bachman has hair, evidently. Unless there's a barnacle or something. Oh, that was that was unfortunate. Sometimes he's just a dick, though. He can cause you some harm, but I mean, <laughs> it's that bad. Now this. Just fire shurikens. Oh god, Give my eyes. Just... Wow, he got really lucky. Yeah, you you lucked out. That was also a really unfortunate place for my eyes to start itching. For your eyes to itch? Do you wear contacts? No. I have allergies. Oh. He has these things called ghost bees. Yeah, I've got those uh, I have them too. They're pretty cool. They make ghost honey. It's delicious. If you're a ghost. Oh. Dead. Well, you're getting better at this. Yep. Hopefully this doesn't take as long as Sakit. <sighs> <laughs> oh god, fuck the key. Now, this is not the part where we tell you right before the final boss there's a Mega Man style boss refight section. Yeah. We have to fight all the bosses in a row without healing. But I will tell you when he does that thing where he just kind of sprays particles out of his mouth, just fire a bunch of shuriken at him. That's like the best time to damage him. Yeah, it's still his head. I think that actually, I think that hits him, yeah. Yeah, it does. It's only when his mouth is open, I think. Yeah. No, I get the damage hit noise when, um... Okay. I hit his head. If only there was something that, like, did double, or doubled the damage of Shuriken, so they did two instead of one. <laughs> that would be okay. Too bad there's not. Now... After Lion has defeated this boss, I have some very bad news to tell him. Should I break it to him now? You mean what boss he unlocks? No. Well, that's even worse news for him. Well, I'll, I'll break it to you now, Lion, since, uh, as just sort of a, a, an omen of things to come. After you defeat this boss, all of the bosses after this are nightmarishly hard. Yes. Like, if you have difficulty with any of these bosses, Get you will probably spend two to three hours, yeah. Two to three years growing a new asshole on each boss. <laughs> yeah, it's as long as you hit his head. Okay. Didn't jump. I wish I wish I was a fish. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> now would be a good time to sing under the sea. <laughs> okay, you, pro you wanna... <laughs> Go for it, Steve. Don't get hit by the boss! Also, double jump, Lion. My god. If you don't double jump, Lion, if you don't get that down to, like, unconscious level, you will never defeat the next boss. And I don't even know which one you're gonna fight next. <laughs> But I can uh, I know which him. one is next. I know he won't beat it. Yeah, I know which one's next too, Josh. I know. He is a boss I, I quite enjoy. There you go, Lion. This boss is yeah. really easy. Oh my god! You never ever take damage from this boss! Except for the one time. Yeah. Well, at this time. Yeah, that was, that was unfortunate. You were out of place. Just think of it like League of Legends. You have to use Flash, dude. Yeah, don't step in the wrong hood. Don't step in the wrong hood, use Flash. <laughs> nah, he's, I think he's gonna do the underwater thing. Yeah, yeah. he is. I wanna he's spray the fire the fire <laughs> Yeah, that is, there's no good way to avoid that. Yeah, it's pure luck. It's a, it's a Gradius thing. <laughs> in the uh, WiiWare version, he actually goes into a background as you're swimming down a tunnel and oh, fire him. Right, but now you actually understand the fight and what you have to do to win. Yep. Also, Go, I figured out Lion. what that I figured out what that problem was with the double jump earlier. My finger had gone numb that recording session, so I couldn't tap. No! I'll see you next.